Okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Perfect. Okay, we were heading out at uh, 10 o'clock from Temecula and we should be at the park in about an hour barring unforeseen traffic but it's a beautiful day sunny what's the high gonna be honey 75 in Anaheim yes high of 75 high of 75 today so it's gonna be a beautiful day And we're not getting there early, but we we can stay late. So um, after we check into the hotel and rest a bit in the afternoon, then we'll go back and stay late tonight. And we're ready to go. There she is. That's her park face. She's got her park face on. Well, I don't know what that was. That was something That's else. We're going to the park. I thought that was a frog in a blender. heading into the hotel okay so we are checked in and ready to head out to the park we just walk across the street to the Toy Story parking lot and we can jump on a bus so that's pretty cool and we're going to go to DCA today first we have the event uh, the Disney pop-up at 4 so we'll just go uh, do whatever we feel like and then we'll head to downtown Disney so let's go Seems odd to be walking into the parking lot. I haven't really done that before. But because the hotel's right there, it made sense for us. So this is the remote parking lot, the Toy Story parking lot. So I've got a line, but it's not real bad. I think we got about a 10 minute line to get on the bus. Let's go to a theme park, honey. It's a Toy Story bus. Cool. Hello. It's not really no lines to speak of at security, so that's good. We'll be breezing right on in. So, for those of you who haven't been out here to the West Coast, just gives you an idea of just how close the two gates are. So, Disneyland, right there. DCA, right there. Just that close. All right, so we are going to go to DCA. We're gonna do that today and Disneyland tomorrow. We're ready to go in. All right, we'll just walk up the street here and I'll see if, um... oh, you know what we should do? We should go get our Fast Pass for Soren right away. It's 
It's kind of funny. This is like, you know, the equivalent of Main Street, but it's so short. Like, you start walking down and you go, oh, this is neat. And then, oh, it's done. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll go over there and look at the board and decide what our plan will be. Let's see what we got. Soaring 60 minutes. One of my favorite areas. This whole run in the Grizzly Peak and that whole area is my favorite place to be in DCA. Cars Land is nice, but it's usually, it's just so swamped. Uh, I like the theming and just the feel around here. The craftsman architecture and national parks. Very nice. And it's time for a cold brew. Cold brew. Cold brew. means Pluto's there. Oh, that's cute. Dog on duty. I haven't seen that before. Now we're walking into my favorite place in the park, atmosphere-wise. And I'll see if what I know to be true holds true today, that if you go to this back path back here, even on the busiest of days, you will find some peace. Now another pro tip that well a lot of people know about it but it's going into the Grand Californian here and then eating that white water snacks in there. That's the place to go to get away from the crowds. Well, here we go. Now we'll go over there to the bridge, because right over there at the bridge is where I like to sit and watch the people get soaked by a geyser. There's a geyser that goes up, not that one, but right in there. It goes up, and a lot of times people don't expect it, and they get drenched, and it's so much fun. And I could sit here and watch people get soaked unexpectedly all day long. You can kind of sit here and it's shady and you can watch the ride. Then you got this beautiful waterfall over here. This is what I was hoping they would do where the train goes. I thought they were going to have a huge water display like this. And that one's just a little trinkle compared to this. A sprinkle. This one's grand. This is beautiful. And the ride goes down right there. And there's my cold brew. Woo! All things good. Now, the other thing I'm curious to see, because I haven't been here since they announced it, and I'm not sure if it's in effect yet, is right down this path a little further. So beautiful here. But right down this path is where they had the smokers area. And I think they can't be there anymore. So we'll see. No, I could see him smoking from here. <laughs> it hasn't gone into effect yet. Oh well. Love this truck. Let me go go get, sit in one of those carts and I'll get a good picture of you. Yeah, sit in that. Honey, you have to sacrifice sometimes to get good content. 
Some what? Some gems. Gems? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell so many. The only there. gems are in your ring, baby. Mm -hmm. She won't do it, so, you know, I I don't know what to say about that. She's she's not committed. She's not committed. I. Oh. <laughs> Still, love the theming back here. Very nice. Now we have to go through where they <laughs> smokers range. Here it is. Look at there's a sign that warns us. It's so funny how they like they get this tiny little area and they make them go back over here. I always feel like they're second class citizens. Kind of feel sorry for them, but wow. That's crowded back here. This is it. This is the. This is all they get. This little, little strip right through here. And there's some uh, smoking kids apparently. <laughs> okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like. That's what it's supposed to look like. I mean, let's see if we can do that. You ready? Okay, come on over here. Right here. We stand here. Perfect. <laughs> It's the scenic route that we're taking. Like the bears. That doesn't look like Brother Bear, isn't it? Oh, guy up there. And that's asking how much of a challenge this is. Uh, I think the only challenge is probably getting your kids out of here, huh? But how many of these can you identify? Ah, cool. Honey, do you know any of them? Yeah. I know that that's the thing. <laughs> See, here's the hat pipe. Gnarly dude. I like it. Oh. Oh, that's kind of morbid. That's a like a fish eating <laughs> eating a squirrel or something. <laughs> oh, a coyote was swallowed by this fish, bit by bit, because he taunted him and just wouldn't quit. Oh my gosh! Do not taunt the fish. Do not do it. He'll eat you with a big smile on his face. Oh my gosh. This hawk, a fire was kindled at the base of a rock, and when it split open, out flew Wick Wick, the hawk. You can't believe I'm videoing those? Why? You don't think that'll be fun and entertaining? you. <laughs> <laughs> well, here comes a ranger. Let's ask him if he thinks it's worth it. Yeah, what? It? No, he decided not to. <laughs> and all that. It's so cool in there. This is so cool. The kids don't even appreciate it. They just run as fast as they can through it. They zip right on through. <laughs> on to the next fun thing. You know, Disney does a really good job with theming and everything, but you know, they're not beyond using some duct tape. <laughs> Look at it. It's brown and it blends in pretty nice, yeah. but it's duct tape. This little girl over here just dancing away all by herself. Dancing, dancing. Go, go, go! <laughs> okay, so here they're telling us the coyote is renowned for their cleverness. And I'm thinking, yeah, but they weren't very clever when they taunted that catfish and got swallowed whole, were they? <laughs> That's funny. Huh. Nice and quiet back here. How long can we go down this path until we see somebody, honey? Oh, 45 seconds. I don't know, I got... Well, we're still going. 
Oh, there's some something coming around the corner. And that's it. Four seconds. I got four seconds there. <laughs> Thank you for exploring the wilderness with us and a few thousand other people. All right, so we enjoyed the uh, Redwood Creek. Are you ready? Okay. Quick. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we enjoyed the Redwood Creek Challenge area and the Grizzly Peak area. That's all very nice. And now we're going to go to the Hyperion Theater and see the Frozen show. So we have to wait in line a little bit for that to get a good seat, though, but it's worth it. What else are we going to do? We, I forgot to say happy birthday. Ah, oh, it's not bad. It's your birthday. Nice. So we were just having this conversation how you have to take in all the beautiful things that are like on the on the sides and on the edges. I mean we've seen all the big rides and all the nice theming, but these little touches really make it beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. Shows how it's opening. Just opening up. They're so smooth. Isn't it? That's what I was hoping for. I was just gonna let the camera roll until she started doing something goofy, which is, if you know her, it's kind of a rarity. See, so I like to get it documented. <laughs> so I don't know if this area works as much for me anymore. It's like, you know, it's old Hollywood and then you've got all this marble stuff like thrown in there. So it's wow, doesn't really make sense, but oh well. here if you wait a little extra or if you don't you can be way up there way up there and that is not the same show up there Oh, my sister. 
Function there. Yeah, people will beat you and curse you and cheat you. Every one of them is bad except you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You know. have friends who are love experts? I'm not buying it. Stop no, I mean, I would really love to meet these I love mean, experts. So we saw the Frozen show. Uh, what do you think? Very much worth getting there early and getting a good seat. When you're up front, like I said before, it's a different show where you can see all the expressions. There's lots of funny stuff that goes on in the aisles. And uh, we just really enjoyed it. That was nice. Yeah. So now, um, while we were in there, our Fast Pass for Soaring got changed to a multi-experience. So I think we can go to anything. But we're kind of ran out of time as far as rides go. We got to head over to the Disney pop-up. Then we'll go on whatever we can afterwards. We got the whole night. 
Oh, it's a pop-up. I think we got Daisy Duck over here. All right, out of DCA and heading over to downtown Disney.